took at the World Olympics. Yep, I was on the winning team. Well, the 75th annual Antelope Valley Fair is right here on the corner. Feel free to take a load off your feet and have a seat on me, listening to Darius Rucker and Cheryl Crow at Diamonds Are Forever. Come celebrate with me, Alfalfa Alley, the male of hay contestant number two. Thank you. since 
Leona Valley, Christy Klein. You all are the most curious looking bunch of munchkins I have ever seen. <laughs> Antelope Valley Fair. Lancaster! Oh, I know where I am. This is my home. It sure looks a lot different than when I lived here, though. All the rides and people, the animals, too. I think there are more people than animals now. Oh my, please forgive me. You all don't know who I am. Well, folks around here know me by <sighs> Baby Gum. But my name is, of course, Francis. Francis Ethel Gum of the Gum Sisters Act at our Valley Street Theater. It wasn't far from here just over on the corner of Antelope Avenue and Sierra Highway. It was a humble little place, but you see, it's so very special to me. I changed from a little girl with a big voice to a young lady with big dreams and high hopes of Hollywood and Vine. I guess you could say my dreams advanced out of the dust of this little desert town, but never in my desert dreams would I imagine the woman I was to be. Judy Garland or the worldwide influence my songs like Over the Rainbow would have. But you see, even after it's all over, Lancaster will always be the home to my desert dreams, and there's no place like home. There's no place like home. I'm Christy Klein, Miss Leona Valley, and contestant number eight. Thank you. Thank you, Christy. Back with 1968, our fair has turned to silver. Hey everyone, I gotta tell you something that is way out of sight. The fair has turned to silver. This year, 1968, is the fair's 25th anniversary. So, from August 29th through Labor Day, some of the best sacks in the country are all going to be in one place, the Antelope Valley. Everything from our iconic Little Olympics to the death-defying sense of the 10-minute thrills are sure to be far out. It's rumored that Billy Williams is going to jump a Mustang. 85 feet from ramp to ramp through the air. That is so bad. There's also going to be hundreds of booths and exhibits, and general admission is only 50 cents. Our queens are sure to put the sparkle and silver with the beautiful Sadler Hudson in the Santa Valley. And she, along with 15 other community queens, are going to be at the fair every day. It's also said that this year is going to break records with an estimated 120,000 people visiting the fair. Right on! Personally, though, I can't wait to see the crazy fireworks display on Labor Day. But it's 8 30. The cows curfew, and I definitely don't want the parents to have a cow. Well, maybe if I ask them really nicely and agree to do yard work for a week or two, they'll let me. Oh, I'm sure they will. Anyway, I have to go pick out my outfit. So hang loose, and I'll see all of you at the Ferris wheel. Thank you for listening. I'm Hannah Bird, contestant number nine. Thank you, Hannah. 1990, Barn Yard Jamboree. Salutations. My name is Charlotte, from the famous Charlotte's Web. I would love to tell you all just a little story about a town that's not so far from here, where the rolling hills are green and the lakes glisten blue. The town of Antelope Valley. Oh, silly me, wrong fairy tale. The town of Antelope Valley, where the temple winds sleep and the high winds roar. The 51st annual Antelope Valley Fair and Alfalfa Festival began in August of 1989, and what a sight it was to see. It held the theme of Barnyard Jamboree. Many cowboys and cowgirls showed up from surrounding cities, such as California City, Animal Bakers, Roseman, and even Quartz Hill. Many would brave about the famous tacos, fresh squeezed lemonade, and the corn on the cob. Folks would stay late to watch Kenny Loggins get foot loose, then come back the next day to watch the Rural Olympics. Now, as you all know, with the annual fair came the annual Miss Antelope Valley and her fellow community queens. Jamie Dewitt wore a beautiful crown and a sash to match. It's 2013. I don't think she'll be needing this anymore. Ashley Richardson. Ashley picked 1990.
98, a 60-carat affair. about the most royal part of the fair, the 14 community queens. They're all the 
else is up and ready to represent their communities? Miss Olive Valley herself, Sherry Van Dam, was one rocking cowgirl. Well, I got a boot scoot and boogie my way back to the arena. I got a bull rider down way to fix up another two second ride. Alright, well, I gotta go. Bye, y'all. Move. Allison Cheek. Allison Pick, 2005. Nothing like being there. Have you heard the buzz? The World Olympics were invented and they named Donald J. Jagway Sr. as the recipient of the first golden handcuff. Mr. Jagway was the driving force behind the Antelope Valley Fair in Alabama.
right to the stage, Sheila Sola, Miss Goron, and Miss Elm Valley, 1965. She will be presenting a special $500 scholarship from the Animal Valley Rural Museum to one of the uh, community queens. Sheila? Oh, there you are. Let's welcome it. A $500 scholarship is presented uh, from the Animal Valley Rural Museum to the 2012 Miss Eastside Ruben Fonds. We want to congratulate her for her application. I wish her uh, well. Unfortunately, she is not here tonight. But uh, this will be sent to her, a beautiful certificate, and a check for $500. Thank you very much. It's working against me And gravity Wants to bring it down Oh, yeah, I know With all the love It's hard to say
from Acton to Tehachapi and the communities in between, each one of our queens represent what is right with young people in the Emerald Valley. Ladies, you represent the face of scholarship and education. You are young diplomats and ambassadors. Your projects promote compassion and kindness within our neighborhoods. You are 17 outstanding teenagers that make parents proud. You represent our positive future. On behalf of the people of California and the citizens of the 36th Assembly District, I'd like to thank you for being such an outstanding example of what we have to look forward to in our state. Shannon, on behalf of the state of California, I would like to present you with a certificate of recognition for your achievement and service to the community at Miss Allen Valley 2012. $13,927.59. 